Hi, good afternoon to all of you. My name is Nishan Jaiswal. And uh, just to add, my presentation will include all the applications which we have implemented in hospital operations. Uh, I apologize on the behalf of the team. Uh, this work has been done in past eight years with my stint with Nanavati Max Super Speciality Hospital. I served that institution for eight years. I have worked with a lot of startups. Today also I work with IIT Bombay, IIT Kanpur, and we evaluate the new applications, work with them, develop them, make it to the economies of scale, like Docspur, which has happened in past five years, Xbot, MedPass, and you will see everything. Please have a pace with me. There will be repetitions, because I understand that there is a lack of time. And I have put in my slides various repetitive summarizations of the intent, what I need to deliver. So why we need digitalization? In hospital operations, digital customer knows. You know Amazon you have ordered. When it is coming, you need not to call anybody. Zomato, you know. Swiggy, you know. Hospitals is a paper intensive than other industries and must go green. Save trees. I did a research on the quantum of paper which is used and for that how many trees needs to be cut. So for 50 bed in a month, we need to cut 30 trees to meet the requirement of the paper in the hospital. You can multiply this and you will be amazed to know how much quantum of paper the hospital industry consumes. Like Google summarizes where we traveled, likewise, we need our health record on a click. Thanks to COVID, in COVID portal, we have our digital uh, certificate of the injections, you know, vaccinations. That is the large scale worldwide application which has been implemented at the shortest possible time. Hospitals lag behind in consumer facing technologies than other industries. It's so easy to transfer X amount through wallets, which has got the pace since the demonetization. And COVID-19, 24-24. What has not happened in past 24, we have experienced in past 24 months. So what patient says right now, everybody wants right now. You need car right now. You need the map right now. Where is your vehicle? You need to interact with your driver right now. Where are you? You need Swiggy right now. Where is my masala dosa? Are you bringing it cold? Right? Right now you want to know what is the traffic route, which is the fastest, which is the slowest, from where you need to choose your path. Right? Right now in Bombay, I cannot meet for two minutes, you know. Whoever is in Bombay and who travels with a local train knows the importance of three minutes missed by the train, right? So that's how life is. Know the status. We have buses also now on the app and we know which bus will come where and which one to catch, you know? So this is how the life has been right now, right now, right now, like Arnab Goswami's. Right now I need the answers, <laughs> yeah? So. We must know why we need to digitize hospital operations, what has affected the hospitals, why hospital operations is under focus, what has to be done, and zero-based approach to hospital operations. Right? So healthcare providers are facing multiple demands from multiple stakeholders. Increased pricing pressure, control from the government, cost versus quality concern, affordability issue of patients and the public, intense competition, increasing payer power, demanding patients and attendants, pressure on margins, training, return on capital, and public trust deficit. Why hospital operations has, seen, has been seen as a cost center. First department during budget meetings in the list in which all possible cost reduction strategies to be implemented. Manpower cost control, reduce count, but maintain supreme patient experience. One should be there at the entrance to greet each and every patient. Right? Patient experience, expectations of real-time updates of all the healthcare services delivered in any kind of healthcare setup, be it lab, be it radiology, standalone diagnostic centers, or the hospitals. Mobile healthcare, AI, IoT, ICT applications of mobile teleconsults has changed the dynamics. Now patient demands, if that is possible, why this is not possible? Patient satisfaction, transition to patient delight or experience, Productivity measurements of each facet of operations. Turnaround time. Everybody asks time. Kitne deer mein hoga batao. Otherwise, I will go to the next doctor, next clinic, next hospital. Kitne paise mein hoga. I will not pay extra. For your lethargy or your laziness or slow or taking more time. Manpower, process performance, capital asset utilizations, cost of poor quality, 
disruptive technologies in healthcare, like all the AI programs, which assess and gives you more predictive diagnosis using the, for the radiology, for the Linux and all, wherein the doctors are questioning after 10 years whether it will be required or not. Cost control of poor quality due to accidents, internal disasters and staff negligence. What has to be done? For the, stake, for the sake of both healthcare providers' viability and patients' health, operational improvement is the key to manage cost with quality in the form of accreditation, which is a continuous process, and designing smart digital operations at hospital, whether it is pricing, procurement, process monitoring, material, energy consumptions, or material utilization, or staffing. All of it is at the top of the agenda for Indian healthcare providers today. But many hospitals have failed in implementing operational improvements due to organizational change residence. What we call it is egos, biggest hindrance, rather than money, rather than funds, rather than technology, rather than solutions. The lions of each department in the institution stop innovations because of their egos, and it has to be a top-down approach. Zero-based approach to hospital operations. So what is zero-based approach? Seeks to link organizational design to strategic priorities, for example, areas for investment compared with efficiency optimization. Instead of a one-size-fits-all solution across the business. Credit goes to Google Baba, first page, McKinsey definition. I have not read it, don't ask me the questions. Improve the revenue is the top priority. Producing results in terms of additional revenue, which Transform the perception of hospital operations from cost center to profit center is the priority. Revenue enhancement approach that combines value-based pricing, optimized contracting, TPA corporates, credits, service mix optimization, and removal of capacity bottlenecks, which shall yield the highest returns. Focus on delivery of differential value to patients. Brainstroke management in 20 minutes and saving the life in 20 minutes, reducing the damage or the extents of paralysis is in itself is the commitment to save one life, which is valuable. Golden hour, cardiac arrest, we all know. Distinguish between strategic investments in robotics, LINAC, BMT, and other programs, and non-strategic costs. Front-end manpower or cost optimization, reducing documentation, process loads, or automating parts of the job. I don't intend to use the word fire, but reduce the parts of the job that can allow staff to focus on the patients. Material cost optimization, effective behavioral change management, productivity and performance measurement, which is these days department specific, more so employee specific. And to implement all these innovations, tech change management in operations, the two lines summarizes, the war has never been fought in the Senate. A victory lies in the smell of the battlefield soil, rinsed with blood and sweat. Challenges in hospital operations. Most of the department do not have the real-time uniform communication information platforms. Need of the hour is coordination and transparency within the management department in real time. And a top-down approach, connecting every department, every last man, every staff, resource, patients onto a unified communication platform is what is needed. Hospital operations. Above there is a superman, below there is a superman. Both are throwing the cobwebs. And these are all the departments and all the Ramban which you can see going here and there is Skelter. Hospital operations is not a standard one-way traffic. It is to and fro, to and fro between various departments and it's a very complex processes. If you design a third level high degree process map with SIPOC, with everything flowcharts, you will realize. The above is the front end exposure, the below is the back end what has gone. So back end is manpower intensive, patient transport services, internal disasters, fire is happening, shutdowns are happening, code blue is happening, manpower scheduling, hazardous materials, fire, engineering services, very important backbone. So I will be touching upon each one of these departments that what digitizations we have implemented and we talk about. But I summarize, patient-centric applications, online OPD appointments and online payments, app-based teleconsult, SMS-based OPD prescription access in PDF after OP consult, lab reports in PDF, real-time access of discharge process, lab test processing, online web portal access of test report, scanned inpatient medical record, patient experience management software, during stay app-based service request, deliveries, escalations, doctor application, digital pen and a paper, Rapid AI for brain stroke management, wherein if I have a brain stroke and I undergo CT or MRI, the application will guide me what kind of treatment I need to do 
till the time neurologist has not reached to the hospital. If it is not there, real time you ICU patient vital access for intensivist, EHR, mobile app, remote patient vital monitoring, all the monitors in the hospitals are networked, available on an app. The chief intensivist and the other doctors can log in, can see the real time uh, vitals in the monitor for the patients who is in the hospital and can speak to the caregivers and take a collective decision. Facility management and safety, emergency code alarm software, OC, o, OT, AC temperature, water level, MGPS, medical gas, electric voltage supply, real time reading on mobile phone, complaint management, STP effluent monitoring softwares, biomedical waste barcodes, hazmat software, visitor pass software, ERP, HIS, biomedical tech, robotic surgery, etc. are the various examples. The first example, ambulance and in and care delivery in transit to the hospital. So this is the model. I have mentioned the uh, applications. These are the startups. These are under the review of the FDA since last year. I have also mentioned somewhere the cost so that you understand that it is not costly to implement the technology in the hospital operations or in the hospital. It is up to you. We are the healthcare administrator. Start learning the skill development to design the softwares and start the communication skills to communicate with the engineers and the IT tech so that you can communicate what you want and they can design and give you exactly what is beneficial on the ground. So care delivery in the transit, I was exposed to this uh, device and we did the demo. App based, desktop based, user friendly, approx cost one and a half lakh device and patient is in ambulance. And the ambulance when we have picked up the patient and we are bringing to the hospital in half an hour, I can connect a joint video call with the ER doctor, all the consultants whom I want, the relatives and the patient can be seen, a virtual assessment can be done, and the joint discussion and the consent of the family who will take the decision and sponsor their cost and the treatment modality can be taken online. Real-time transmission of ECG to the cardiologist, patient vital, 12 lead ECG to any, anywhere, 4G device, POCT lab test done, fed into the software, reported to the ER. By the time patient reaches, the hospital care plan is defined, case is discussed. Ambulance GPS tracking per month, thousand bucks, App based real time best. You know your driver is roaming around your ambulance where you can control the distance, you can control the diesel, and you can have a control. If your ambulance is somewhere else and you know that it will take half an hour to come back to the hospital, you can contact the other ambulance and dispatches so that the, you can reach to the other patients also. Stand Plus is one such example. Red ambulances, you go online and you click call their call center based at Hyderabad. In 30 seconds, they will pick up, assess, and allocate an ambulance to you. So that is how the digitization has been happening. Digital pen and a paper. The pen has the camera on the nib. The software generates a coded printed sheet. When the doctor writes with the pen on the coded sheet, then the, the handwriting is mapped. Immediately after the prescription, the PDF is in your SMS link. Simple, intuitive to use, switch pin on, start writing, glance at the screen. The monitor, the tab is facing towards the patient. So whatever is doctor writing onto the paper, the patient can see live. The leads are generated, they're checked boxes. If doctors has checked onto the lab, radiology, et cetera, it goes to the respective administrators and they can contact the patients, convert the leads, retain the business in the hospital. You know, the cost is 20 to 25,000 per pen, printer cost, one time software cost. It has got a great ROIs. This is a digital implementation of OPD prescription documentation for a large, very age old doctors who do not want to leave their heavy gold plated pen, but still are tech savvy. And you cannot force them to type onto the screens and in the EMRs with the keyboards. So this is how it looks. The options comes and then the call center people or the operations team can select, call the patients and select the tab and close the call and the lead. Bot enabled technology into the discharge process. So these are the AI bot enabled technology which we implemented the discharge process. Service is very slow, patient gives the feedback doesn't know what is the status of his discharge. Admissions, sorry, beds are not available because the discharge is not happening up. And the managers are pouncing onto the executives, what the hell. Hospital mein chal kya raha hai? Or beds kyo nahi mil rahe hai? These are the general questions. I also used to ask the same questions before this. So absence of real time monitoring. The entire discharge process. We don't know, there's no visibility of the bottlenecks, where which patient is delayed, how much time it is taking, which beds are for discharge, how much time it will take. So we implemented the app. On the app, 
the moment the discharge is initiated into the app or into the software, the patient gets the link. We maintain the transparency. Patient should know how much discharge time it will take phase wise. And he can access, he can give his feedback on the discharge process in the app. Entire hospital, all the stakeholders have the app. In the app, the doctor can select plan discharge, cancel discharge, initiate discharge, and we define the specification limits as per the X bar control chart, measurable chart with the upper specification limit, lower specification limit, and the average and the standard target what we need, which you will read into your SPCs. And those control charts, which means that every time if I want to generate a X bar chart and a normal curve of my discharge process for a particular pair type, I can generate it. And that's the MIS I used to get, that what is the sigma level of my process performance. This is the sequence. For any patient in the app, I will select, I will know where is red and which department, which person I need to call to fasten the process. This kind of alerts, if the cutoff time has moved up, the respective escalations will happen and such kind of SMSs will go so that we know. Such kind of trend graphs you get on a click on the selection of first the day between the different time zones for a week, for a month, whatever combinations you want to see the trends, you can see the trends. And this is how it is red, green, orange, the specifications what you define. Digitization in EMRs, so majority of the hospitals could not adopt the complete EMR wherein all the stakeholders are typing into the software. The majority of the documentation is on paper. So Vidox plays a major role. It's a software scanning company which scans the medical records, a big player. Majority of the hospitals have their solutions. We also had their solutions. They scan and create the repository. What they did, they designed the app. You install the app, get your user ID login created. After that, you have the access, select the hospital in their app, select what you want. If you are a TPA patient and you want your medical records, you don't have to take one day leave. You don't have to spend thousand bucks and you have to go to the hospital and chase door to door. What you have to do is download the app, select the report direct, submit all the information and send the request. The hospital will see the request, hospital admin, MRD people will check your credentials, get you a call and they can give you that section of the bridge which you want and which you have requested. It is available as a scan in your email box. So easy access, better patient experience, keep track, one app for all, informed decision, no call, no chase. Disaster management, very important. I have placed the pictures because these are all the firemen who are the first responders in any case of the disasters and majority of the time many of them suffer from injuries or they leave or they die or they leave their life, lost their life or the movities. Every minute is come. Thank you. I'll finish. Otherwise you shut down. <laughs> yeah, I mean time is essence, no? So they have a liberty to shut me down after five minutes. So we have five minutes. Every minute is important in disaster, someone can die. Such kind of codes are there in all the accredited hospitals. We have implemented the software. Out of nine codes, seven I have automated and only two are which are case specific. You have to pick up the phone, dial the number and after that say the code in this sequence. After comparing eight worldwide international standards in emergency response, I have designed this and then it's plug and play. Digital EPBIX is required, each location wise, telephone extension, terminology, map as per building, location department, such kind of SMS we get. For each type of disaster situation, identify emergency response team and we have trained it. And when staff dials hash followed by emergency number, all responders get three times automated call. I have to pick up the call, I will get the SMS and immediately the public announcement system will happen, round the clock. So round the clock, within a minute, at three level of communication, more than 30 people in the hospital for each type of disasters get notified and the action is taken. Hazmat, very important. We have designed the application in the hospital uh, considering the NFPA US 704 rating system, which is widely available and adhered by JCI accredited hospitals also. Please note, hospital is a dangerous place. More than 300 chemicals are used in the hospital we use in the form of liquid, solid gas, liquefied gas, compressed gas, compressed liquid, and are packaged in glass container, plastic container, cardboard box. During fire, for example, in a histopathology lab, a xylene glass bottle of two liter in a glass bottle, if catch fire, is dangerous and more than a glass sharp bomb. 
So what we did and what I want, this was one of the risk management analysis which I did and I designed this application that if tomorrow there is a fire in my hospital, I want the fire brigade to be at the gate, enter into any room, use the software, use the computer, go to internet and first see which building, which floor, which are the hazardous material in my has met sheet, I have defined the monthly stock. So I know that how much is the stock which is available. So you imagine air freshener is a bomb, pressurized vessel gas, right? It will catch fire. I have 170 in the ICUs on a particular floor. I have to be much more vigilant with respect to the fire. So building wise, department wise, floor wise, in any combination, wherever the fire or any disaster is, I can know that what are the hazardous material and I can alert the response team and the fire brigade. Patient visitor pass, such kind of passes is there. We didn't have any record of who is visiting, assault case, VIP case, court case, medical legal case, terrorist threat, so we need to have the documentation, very important. Housekeeping manpower scheduling. So largest manpower intensive deputation plan is very important. We need to know where more the female patients are and divert the deputation of female staff there. And department which has less occupancy, remove the manpower. How we will know that? We will know that by this. Right, so first prefix the employee schedule and after that pitch in the standard schedule and then see the attendance. So the smart cards and the readers are integrated with this application at the end of the shift. I know how many people have come, where the deficit is and then put the people there considering the ward occupancies. And this is how we manage and control and optimally utilize, reduce the overtime cost. Human interface in engineering services, two minutes. Yeah. So. What is the cost for each application? Around 25,000. A startup guy, Mr. Kulkarni, very simple. You never realize that he can design such interface communication, develop the apps, details are available on the SMS. I know power details, unit consume, SMS alert if there's any failure, regular updates. So these are the various applications. You know, the entire engineering services is on the app. Very low cost effective. So whenever we go to pitch for the budget to the management for all the elephant, Mercedes, Benz class, software, crores of investment, they straight away say no. Next slide. So you have to go to the innovation, right? So the others are Porter systems, Uber, Ola kind of a model, unified room service ticketing systems, SMS link based patient feedbacks, app based navigation signage systems within the hospital wherein you need not to ask anybody, download the app, geotag it, it application opens and we map it during the shift, which person will be there in which department, you just click, you go there and you know and the name is flashing. So it's also a new navigation system, signage system which we have worked on. Then consult and referral app, you know. Four consultants managing a case of a patient, they have not communicated with each other. We created app, it's become so easy to attach the visit and he knows the notification that in this ward, at this bed, I need to see this patient and it reduced the tat. The simple conversation is, I got admitted, after three hours the consultant has come and seen me, after that the RMO has executed the treatment plan, after that he advised MRI, after that three hours it took me the appointment for the IPD MRI, I go for the IPD MRI, after four hours the report has come, after that they will decide. Such kind of three, four hours if you calculate minimum extra 24 hours I have wasted in the hospital. If I reduce one day, the general RPOB in a multi-speciality hospital is 50 to 60,000 rupees. This is what they say affordable cost of treatment. If you bring the operational efficiency and reduce this three hours, and if we have a visibility of our processes, then we will save for one patient at least 50,000 rupees in your treatment. Your bill is less. He will not blame you for inflated bills. So old infrastructure of the hospital building to lay Wi-Fi network, RFID network, it's a huge cost, more than a crore. That is why majority of the application implementation does not happen. High cost of no interest from one solution provider wherein people are not ready to integrate their applications with the other software providers. Hospital non-participation and closed doors to startups to experiment with the new solutions. Inability of healthcare managers to quantify the benefit of implementing new age solutions to their management because management only understands money. Yeah, correct, right? As on date, last slide. As on date, the new age tech, you cannot get your x-ray CT report as a GIF file in your SMS link today. 
we all are waiting, I am waiting with the startups to wait for the 5G implementation and 6G implementation. The day it happens, believe me, you will have 3D hologram of your body, CT, MRI, and you can see like this and know exactly what went wrong. This is what has not happened. Lab reports, you know the status, you have the SMS link on your emails. So, manzil milegi bhatak kar hi sahi, gumrah to wo hai jo ghar se nikle hi nahi. So, wherever you are, please experiment with new people and develop new solutions and there is nothing which is not possible at a low cost. Thank you. Uh, at the end, uh, I'd like to thank both the speakers for graciously accepting our invitation and taking time out from the busy schedule. So, your presence and presentation have no doubt, I believe, enlightened our audience. I have personally benefited and I believe our audience have gained immensely from this session. With this, Thank you to both the speakers and thank you audience for a patience here. Thank you. Thank you everybody. Yeah.